Hi, I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft. If you do design work on software for your CNC router projects and you're still learning about it, I want to show you a little tip that will enhance the projects that you do, such as this little coaster here. You see the edges of the leaf actually have detail to them and even that small one relative to my finger. Whereas my first one didn't have it and I didn't like that. So I wanted to add that feature. It's a really easy thing to do. I use VCarve, but most design softwares will have a very similar feature. So let's just dive into the software for that part and I'll show you exactly how I created that feature. And you can take it from there, use your mind to expand that out into things that you do as well. So let's go. We are now in VCarve and we are looking at the base design of that. These are uh, some of the vectors that were imported by VCarve. Now I've added some stuff in here like the lettering there and lettering there because VCarve didn't import it very well. However, we go up here, we're going to turn off the bitmap. And you can see there's not a lot of detail on the leaf here nor on the small leaf. So we're going to add that in. And it's very easy. So we're going to click on the vector itself and hit the N button for node. And we bring up all our nodes. Now you can see in the jags that are on the leaf, there's little blue nodes and they're turned a certain way. This is exactly what we're going to be doing to create this effect. So you can essentially take these nodes and turn them the way you want to so that they get that effect. Basically, you see what I'm doing. If it doesn't work one way, like that way it doesn't work, then just swing it around the other way. Now, this node is too close to that one relative to the scale of the leaf. I don't want it that detailed. So I'm just going to hover over that one and delete it. Now, let's say we don't have one over here, which we do. We got this one right there, but that's in our way. Let's just pretend there's nothing here. So I'm just going to hover over the line and hit I for insert. And that's going to insert another one of those nodes. And then we just turn it the way we want to to get that effect. So you can see we're already creating this effect on the leaf. And it's just that easy. You pull the tabs to get the, the length, the sharpness that you want on that leaf. Delete the ones you don't want. Now, you're going to run into cases where you don't have any tabs on it. The, the nodes are going to be black and you'll have some black ones that just have one tab on it like that and then you'll have other black ones that don't have any tabs on them. Now when that happens that node is committed to a different type of line and in this case it's an arc and you can tell by that little uh, dot in the middle. So I can swing it into an arc all the way up till it gets to a half circle between those nodes. So what we want to do is we want to delete this entire arc. It, it's not a feature we need to be here if we want to start adding more of those uh, jags on the leaf. So essentially you just uh, go outside of it and hit insert while you're hovering over the line. And so you notice when I did that, it just put in another black line and created another arc. That didn't create an arc, it just added another node. We have to get completely outside of nodes like this, that the black ones that have that. And hit insert, and then you'll get one of those blue ones. And then we can start just deleting the black nodes. And one of the other ways you can do that is just go to the side and create a window, it's going to highlight all those nodes and you hit D, now it's going to delete all but one of the ones in that window. So we're just going to keep deleting the black ones until we have nothing but blue ones. And we are going to put another, now you see I got a blue one here and a black one there and I go in between those, it's creating a blue one. If I come over here between two black ones, insert, I'm able to put a blue one. You just can't do it when you're between an arc. If I'm in between that arc and I insert, I'm just going to get another black one and create another arc. So now you see I have two arcs going on here. So 
to t insert these type of nodes, you have to be on the outside of the, the black ones, the black nodes. And you just move on. When you have our nodes that you don't want, hover over them, window them, and delete them. And just keep working your way around. So let's just finish off the edge of this leaf. I don't want this one. I'm going to delete it. We're going to fix that one up. Bring it out like that. We're going to delete that one. And we're going to swing that out. And we don't really need that one right there, but we'll just leave it there for to hold the shape of the leaf. Now I'm going to continue on and let's just go ahead and knock these out. Delete, 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 delete. Now that whole arc is gone. And now I've got an interesting little node there where the, these are actually independent of each other, which isn't, doesn't happen on the blue ones. But we can play with it. It's there. I can swing it around, do what I want with it, and actually create that jagged look. And just keep working away around the leaf. Now you also grab a node and you can move it to a new location. And we will do two more of these. We're going to delete that one in just a moment. unless we can work with it and we yeah we can bring it around it'll work so now we have a hit escape and the node mode goes away and now we have a detailed shape of the leaf and it looks a heck of a lot better than it did before so you continue on this process uh, wherever you want to we can do it over here as well and you'll have a much more realistic looking bad apple max leaf shape all right, hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give me a like and uh, happy designing and watch for more videos. Leave a comment too if this was helpful or if you have some tips that I can do this better on. I will talk to you next time.